an update tonight for dozens of families whose children happen to share the same name as someone on the so-called no-fly security list. The government task force, which promised action earlier this year, is reporting back, but it may not be the news families were hoping for. At least not yet. Shannon Martin joins us now live in studio. You've been on the story now for months, mm -hmm. Shannon. So what, what's the government saying on this? Well, there is no quick fix. And the public safety minister says, you know, he is sufficiently aggravated by all of this. To be clear, he does want to remind everyone there are no six-year-olds on the no-fly list. They are adult culprits with the same name or similar name. And it's all that confusion between the two that's causing the problem. He says the entire system needs an overhaul. To enter into Canada. The federal public safety minister says the Liberal government is still committed to making changes to what he calls an outdated system. You've got to change the entire database. You've got to change the entire computer system on the Canadian side. And I've asked the uh, the information technology experts, and they and they tell me that is neither uh, quick nor easy, uh, and it will require uh, substantial investment. Uh, I just want my son to be able to travel freely uh, without any obstacles like any other innocent child is able to do in this country. Khadija Kaji was the first parent to go public. Her six-year-old was flagged and almost missed a flight in January to see his favorite hockey team. Since his story, more than 40 others have come forward. The fact that he's uh, uh, an infant and uh, like barely a year old. This Kamloops baby is just the latest. His parents say he's checked every time they fly. That was really shocking for us because uh, my husband's initial reaction was like, okay, well, if it has to do with his name, well, why don't we just change his name? Air Canada told CBC it is legally required to identify all passengers for safety reasons, but maintains children are not subject to extra screening. But these screenshots obtained by CBC News appear to show instructions to Air Canada employees back in January. Well, it clearly states children under 18 are not subject to extra screening under federal rules. It goes on to list a series of steps that need to be taken to deal with the travel of any young person who appears on the restricted travel list. In a statement, an Air Canada spokesperson said all passengers must be vetted against the watch lists. We have a process in place for all customers, including children, whose names are similar to ones on a list to be uniquely identified and cleared. The airline suggests children on the list can get an aeroplan number to ease travel. What do you think about the aeroplan system? I can apply for an aeroplan number under the name Bugs Bunny. Like, I mean, it's not a foolproof government-issued identification. It's a loyalty program, like an Optimum card or some any other points card from any other company. So the no-fly list is generated by the government, but it's piggybacked onto the database of the airlines. The two are not interactive. Clearly, the minister says this is a design flaw, and that is just one of the many factors complicating all of this. Well, it, people are now talking about the American system, how they do things. It's faster. It allows for redress. Mm -hmm. Is that something we could see here? It is, potentially, but again, it's going to be a long road. So the American system is self-contained. It's a government system. It's fully interactive. So it allows the government to get in there electronically and clear those false positives quickly. The government announced today a working group with the U.S., so ideally they're talking, they're studying the system. But again, it's going to be a long road. Not soon enough, obviously, for a lot of these people. Thanks, Shannon. You're welcome.